Hey everybody, so uh, today we're going to be putting uh, lighting into our garden shed here and uh, really there's only two options that you have when it comes to lighting for garden sheds. It's either run power from the house to the shed and uh, have 120 volt uh, power uh, running off your main panel. Uh, the disadvantage to that though is you're probably going to need a permit plus if your property's already developed you that may require you to break some cement up, etc. So it could be problematic that way. It's a lot more work. Um, but if you can do it uh, easily without a lot of headaches or maybe you've just uh, built your house and there's still an option to do that, uh, that's probably preferential because then you always just flip the switch on and you're good to go. Um, option B though is a 12 volt system. And uh, that's what I'm going with uh, on this shed, uh, basically to get permanent power in I would have to take the patio out, uh, put the power lines underneath up into the shed, and I don't want to do that. Uh, so anyways, what I have found is uh, this combination solar panel uh, light, and it's on a motion sensor. Now, this uh, light that we found, it's not that big, uh, and um, it has a lithium battery in it, it charges in the sun, and really it's just to illuminate the garden shed when you go in and out, just so there's some kind of light in there. So I think this is gonna work really well, actually. I've used uh, lithium batteries outside in the winter quite a bit, and they seem to last. And in the spring, when it gets warm, they seem to be able to charge up and be just fine. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this kit here. the solar panel. There's the light. So the uh, battery I assume is in here so that's good to know. And uh, the only thing left in the box here is these two brackets. And some screws and some plugs and uh, looks like you just mount the brackets and slide these in. So looks like fairly in easy installation. All right um, so on the light this is obviously the motion detector piece but uh, so I believe you just flip through this, set it to the setting you want, and then after 30 to 45 seconds, the light's supposed to go out. Here is the little plug for the solar panel. Just uh, plug that in. And uh, yeah, that same kind of thing. Just a ball and go figure out where we're gonna put this now. All right, so as you can tell, this is midday, but it's pretty light out. So I can kind of see in here, but back in the corners, it's a little darker. So what I was thinking was maybe mount the light somewhere here above the door. There's the door, top of the door. And then when you came in, it would trigger the motion sensor and it illuminate everything. But uh, I'm going to try the light out in a few spots and see what illuminates best and uh, then we'll set the bracket up. Okay, so you can see things are illuminated. Got the light up. I've got the uh, height or the angle set. So I've got the angle set so that when you first step foot in the door, it illuminates. 
Now you can see this is quite a bit better than before, but like I said, it still is daylight out. So I'm gonna come back after dark and try this again, just to see how well it's illuminated, but I uh, think it's gonna work out fairly well. I'm just gonna turn the manual button off. So it's, oops. There you go. It's quite a bit darker, but it's hard to tell how good this will be when it's pitch black, and that's really what we want it for. So, like I said, I'll come back and we'll try that tonight. Okay, now the solar panel itself, ideally I want to put it out here past the deck so it can get the sun, but uh, the wire's got to run. Basically, there's a ledge up there it can run across, and then uh, have to come across into the shed up here. I've measured, I think there's enough wire, but I don't quite know 100%, so we'll check that out. Now, the other problem I'm gonna have for, because this is a, this plug is 90 degrees, it's not straight, I'm gonna have to probably drill a little bigger hole than I really want to to get the wire through the shed, but see if we can figure that out. And uh, anyways, get the drill and uh, we'll start figuring out how to get this uh, cable run. Okay, I was gonna try to figure out how to drill the hole from the inside out, but I think I am going to actually start on the outside and go in. So basically the wire needs to come out and it's gonna jump up right along here or under here somewhere in this channel. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in just under that metal lip and hopefully everything pops out and I um, drill the hole in the right place and it all works out. I'll kind of do it in alignment with the edge of this just so the wire can come straight out. So anyways, I'll do that next. Okay, so I got uh, some holes drilled up here. Gonna run the wire up there and then over to our outside hole here. And I had to use a wafer bit because of that strange, uh, or that 90 degree cord angle. So I'll go ahead and run the cord in there next. And uh, hopefully we can get the uh, solar charger up. Okay, so I got the wire run in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, just put some uh, wire staples on here just to hold it in place so it won't pull. And just makes it look a little tidier as well. And uh, actually, there's another little trick I think I might do instead. I'll show you guys with the tie wraps and a staple gun. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then on the other side, um, we've got the... Um, the end of the cable, or the sorry, the uh, solar charger that way, we fed in the piece that connects into the bottom of that guy here. And uh, basically, once this is stapled in, I'm going to go and see how far um, I can put that solar panel out to get maximum sun. Okay, so there's the wire. We'll secure that, of course. And there's panels here, and I 
think I've got enough room to get it extended to out there and that is due south so that'll work out perfect and I'll go ahead and uh, get the mounting bracket for this. All right, so I got the wire clips on. The uh, shed's all sealed up. We're going in there and uh, come back in here and see. Got the wires all laid down. unplugged for now. Shed's illuminated but uh, we're gonna come back after dark and uh, check things out. Well we've uh, got the light up, we've got the solar panel up. For some reason when you leave the solar panel plugged into the light it uh, won't uh, turn on with the motion sensor. I don't know if it's just because it's kind of cold out or what the heck the problem is. So I've just uh, unplugged the uh, um, solar panel from the light and we're going to come back after dark and check this out to see how well it illuminates the shed. I think it's going to work pretty well though. So anyways, let's come back in a couple hours and we'll check things out then. Okay, it's finally nighttime here. It's black as can be. Just get opening the uh, shed door up. And there we go. It's illuminated pretty well. You can see everything. Pretty impressed uh, actually with how well this uh, this uh, lights worked. You can see out the door now. It's black. There's some lights across the way. So this is just totally illuminated even behind this corner it's not too bad but you can really see basically anything you want to get at so that's the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna leave the link to um, the full shed build in at the end of the video as well as in the card above and we'll see you guys in the next video all right just one last look see things are pretty well illuminated That's it for this one, guys.